Today in this video, we are going to sing a poem Australia written by A.D. Ho. Before entering into this poem, let us see a poetic device of this poem. The poem has seven stanzas. Each stanza consists of four lines with rhyme scheme A, B, B, A. Now let's begin. Actually, A.D. Ho belongs to Australia, but he begins the poem by a negative approach. He finds nothing great to sing the glory of Australia. In the first stanza, he says that, once upon a time, Australia was enriched with pleasant and peaceful nature. But now, the green trees lost its greenery and the mountains lost its beauty. The historical monuments of the spins and the stone lion become demolished its fame. In the second stanza, our poet tells that Australia is a young woman. When others see Australia, it showed off as a well of country. A womb of young women seems to be as an empty and dull one. It has only the external beauty but no more inner beauty. In the third stanza, the poet tells that they can't be able to create anything new. No more songs, architecture and history. In the time of olden days, they might have seen an emotional youngsters, but nowadays never more. The rivers become dry because of inland sands. And very soon, the people transformed as a stupid people. In the fourth stanza, he emphasized that Australians made to face so many problems because they can't achieve anything. But all other countries achieve a lot in various fields. Australian people doesn't know how to be competitive with others and their minds filled with full of stupidity. But they only boost up that they are here only to survive. In the fifth stanza, he tells about the five cities in Australia and these five cities compared to the five taming cities. Also, he believes that people who move here are rather unwelcome and they are called as second-hand Europeans. The poet sees, sees the Europeans as a parasites and robbers. 
because they dig all the resources from australia and he considered that the people as an aliens the last two stanzas refers to the modern civilization of australia for hope the civilization of australia is nothing but the false imitation of culture apes which is mistaken as a modern civilization the poet is hopeful he ends the poem with a positive note he says that some prophet would emerge or come from the australian ground who would claim freedom and rights to liberate the aborigines and the australian culture from the colonizers thank you